everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be buying what Instagram recommends to me for one week straight. Now, this video is inspired by Alicia Marie, who's a German YouTuber who was inspired by Drew Gooden, where they basically shop what Instagram recommends them for a week. So each day they scroll through Instagram and whatever ad pops up, they purchase from that company. I saw that and was like, I think that would be so much fun. So let's get it on this. Um, it's a different kind of video for my channel. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I normally do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here, but want to bring out some more lifestyle and fun content like this. So uh, if you are into subscription boxes, other lifestyle content, go ahead and subscribe. But let's see what Instagram recommends for me. So at this point, I have everything here. So let's cut to the week where I ordered everything and see what Instagram recommended to me. All right, so today is day one of searching for things that Instagram recommends for me. I am sitting on my floor in my filming room. I'm about to film videos. I sound like I'm coming down with a cold. So I was also up later last night than I'm used to. So um, let's just see what comes up on Instagram. I feel like I always get ads, so, but I like don't pay attention. So I'm curious to see uh, what happens here. All right, so the first thing that came up is from Kitsch. Um, which has these silk pillowcases, which honestly, I'm actually really excited about because I've been wanting silk pillowcases. So this is my excuse to get them. I will say there was one other advertisement before this, but it was about picky eater dogs and I don't have a dog. So uh, that wasn't gonna work for me. So I guess we're just gonna shop their pillowcases. I think, I hope these aren't like too expensive. Oh, a sleep bundle 30. I mean, that's not, that's not horrible. What color do I want? So here's the deal. My sheets are like tan. So to be honest, I actually think the leopard print would be the best. And it comes with an eye mask and a scrunchie, which honestly for $38 and two pillowcases isn't that bad and free shipping over 40. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I need to spend two more dollars. They do that on purpose. All right, we're gonna add to bag. All right. Day two, let's see what Instagram is going to recommend for me. Sitting on the floor again, apparently that's just <laughs> gonna be a trend in this video, I guess. All right, so it looks like there's an advertisement for a company called Studs, which actually I'm kind of excited about. Oh, that's cool, they like show you different places where you can get like piercings and everything, okay. And it helps you like figure out how much it'll cost, but that's not, I will just want to buy earrings, so. So I think I'll probably get a stud since it says studs, but I really like Huggies too. I think I might do the dagger. Ooh, the bee is cute too. Hmm, ooh, butterfly. My sister, my sister loves butterflies, she'd like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the dagger. It's either the dagger or the snake, but I think the dagger is kind of cute because it'll it can kind of go long. So like the one that I'm wearing today is like a little crescent moon. And I like that because it's like long. I don't know why. So I think we're gonna do the dagger. We're gonna do it as a single just because I only have that one. Um, and yeah, let's check out. All right, day three. I figured this spot works. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep up in this space. Uh, this is a weekday, so hence why I barely have anything on my face. And let's see what Instagram recommends me. Now, I will say that ever since I bought the studs, my whole ads, like when I was scrolling on Instagram later in the day, were for earrings and jewelry. So I don't wanna do six days of jewelry, so if I get a jewelry ad, I'm gonna skip it just because I wanna, unless it's something significantly different, then I will, but everything has been like studs for ears, so that just doesn't make sense to do that a million days in a row. Okay, now we got an ad for It's Easy Plant. So let's, let's go for that. Um, shop plants, self-watering technology, free shipping, longer plant life. Oh, those aren't horrible. I was thinking this was gonna be outrageously expensive. Are we got a money tree? I already have some pothos. That looks pretty. I think I'm gonna do this Neanth Bella Palm because I don't own anything like it and I like the idea of a palm Plant. Okay, so then you get to pick the pot color. If it goes in my living room, it's a different color than if I put it in my room. I think I'm gonna put it in my living room. I kind of like the the very light pink color. The dark pink would, or whatever that is, I don't know, calm rose would be good. 
You know what, actually, I am gonna go with the calm rose because I think I'm gonna put it up there. I, you can't see, but up there there's a tons of plants. I have a plant there. And a, oh my gosh, my finger doesn't work. A plant over there. All right, so let's add that to the cart. All right, day four. We are like halfway point now. I noticed that since I got the plant yesterday, now all of the ads for me are jewelry and plants. So maybe <laughs> I should have done this all in a day, but that ruins the whole point of like the whole week video. Again, weekday, so I have like not a lot of makeup on, but whatever. So let's scroll and see what we find. All right, so the ad that's coming up is from Homesick, which I think has a candle based on a certain city because I've seen this before. Um, it looks like they have some tropical options as well. They have reed diffusers. Okay, here are the states. I feel like I should do one of the states. I wanted to see if they have a Vermont candle because I have family in Vermont and I haven't been there in a long time, but I don't see. Oh, there's a Vermont candle. Okay, we're gonna do Vermont. I live in Virginia, but we're gonna do Vermont. How do you know? Apple peel, maple, eucalyptus, mint notes of cinnamon, baked pie crust, clove, vanilla, sandalwood, amber. <gasps> okay, this is perfect because as we start to go into fall, I feel like this is a very fall candle. So we're gonna get the Vermont candle from Homesick Candles. All right, day five. I think it's day, I like time is an illusion at this point. So Let's see what Instagram five finds. All right, so I just got an advertisement for Ink Box, which is like those temporary tattoos. I follow a lot of tattoo accounts, um, so maybe that's why. Um, there is, again, a lot of jewelry <laughs> ads. So let's, oh, I'm not doing freehand. Um, there's no way that I'm doing freehand because my artistic ability is really bad. So w I'm not gonna do that. I want to look at like the sheets that you ta like put on yourself. Ooh, I am obsessed with this one. This is the one. I think that's so dope. So I'm gonna remove everything else <laughs> because I don't, I'm just gonna do one. Well, apparently I'm $14 away from free shipping. So I'm definitely gonna get another one because I don't feel like paying for shipping for something that's gonna, definitely gonna be packaged flat. All right, so I think I'm actually gonna get the three. I got the, I'm gonna get the butterfly, the hair meat, and the fiero. <laughs> the butterfly, my sister's really into butterflies, so I might have her do that one with me. I'm not 100% sure, so let's check out. All right, day six, I'm realizing you're getting to see how boring my work from home wardrobe is <laughs> this week. Um, so I feel like we've gotten a good array of different things so far. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm probably going to get a billion jewelry ads and maybe I'll just have to get that, but we shall see. All right. So now I'm getting an ad for the upright trainer, which helps you with your posture. And quite frankly, I need that. My posture is horrible. Also, my hair is wet. It's not greasy. So just FYI. Um, let's see. All right. It's $59.99, which I think is probably the most expensive thing. I'm not buying whatever this necklace is for $20 because $60 is already for a little thing that you put on your back that beeps at you. Kind of a lot of money in my opinion, um, but it is free shipping. All right, everyone, day seven, the last day of a full week of buying. Two of the things have already gotten delivered on by day seven, which, is incredible because I did not pay for extra fast shipping or anything like that for any of the stuff that I bought so far. So let's see what today brings. So I'm noticing that a lot of the ads that I'm getting today on the last day are repeats, like ads that I've already gotten, which is really interesting because that hasn't happened before. But I have a clothing ad and I don't, have we done a piece of clothing yet? I don't think so. Um, and they have some really cute, clothes uh, on their site. I'm really kind of liking this dress. Why is it not showing the full dress? Now it's not showing everything. There are some really pretty ones, but I think that I kind of like the green one. I don't have a dress like that. Those pants are cool. I wish they showed this on a model, um, but I feel like this is kind of like Halloweeny, but I might it might look like a nightgown. That's my only fear. Wait, their clothes are so cute. Oh no, that's not my style. All right, let's go for the green dress. 
the green dress seems like kind of cool. All right. So here we are. Uh, I have everything with me. I will say that this took a little bit longer than expected because one of the products had a little bit of an issue. So we'll get there when we get there, but let's go ahead and start off with the Kitsch pillowcase. All right. So it came in just a regular box. All right. So the way that it is packaged is you have the satin sleep set, which I think only comes with one pillowcase, the scrunchie and the eye mask. And it has a little window that you can feel through it. And then the second pillowcase, um, comes in its own kind of packaging here. So what's interesting first off is that these are two different leopard print designs. Like those are two different colors. They don't match. What? Okay. I don't love that. I would not have gotten the second one if I had known that. But like this one's way more golden and this one's way more pink. Does that show up on camera? Let's get these out of the packaging. So this is what the single pillowcase looks like. It feels very nice. It has a zip down one of the sides with the Kitsch logo. I am gonna try these out. Now I'm gonna wash them before I try them out. So you'll see the review of them later here in a minute. But okay, they feel very nice. But like if they don't match, what's the point? Oh my gosh. Okay, so the second pillowcase feels, they feel different. Do they feel different? Am I making this up in my head? But these are not the same. Can you see that? I mean, it's not like a huge, huge difference, but they are different. Like even the leopard print is different. Is this by like mistake? Like, does it say? I don't even know y'all. Yeah, it boasts, it's leopard print and it both says leopard. Okay, well they don't match. So that's I'm honestly disappointed in that because if if you have two pillowcases that like don't match and they're really close, then that feels stupid. Then the eye mask is cute. It matches the pillowcase and matches the scrunchie. It feels very, very nice. This feels very pillowy, but like, okay, come on, uh, Kitsch. That's not, that's not okay. I might honestly reach out to customer service because that's what's, that's stupid. That is so stupid. So beware, if you're gonna purchase these, then I would not purchase the kit and the pillowcase separately. I'd buy two pillowcases or I'd just buy one kit and see because these aren't even like, even the way the tag is on these is different. So I'm sorry, that's BS. Well, I am going to wash the pillowcases, put them on my bed, sleep on them and let you know what I think of the pillowcases, but you already know what I think about the way that they look. All right, so update on the pillowcases. I reached out to customer service since they don't match and I got a full refund. I basically said in the email, I'm like, Hey, um, these don't match. I sent pictures that they didn't match. And I said, I had either like a full refund or like a new pillowcase sent out or whatever. And they just gave me a full refund. So I got two free pillowcases that don't match. All right. So here are the pillowcases on my bed. I just use a duvet and it's not whatever. It's not totally straight, but I think we're fine with that. I mean, you definitely can tell the difference between them. Um, but that's what it looks like on my bed. So I thought I was not going to like the pillowcases or that I'd be like, whatever, but I actually really like them. They are more comfortable than my regular pillowcases. I will say they do fit my pillows very tight and I like thin pillows. Like I'm somebody who likes a hard, thin pillow. I don't like big fluffy ones. If you're somebody who has bigger, fluffier pillows, I don't think those pillowcases are going to fit because I somewhat struggle to get my pillowcases in. I'm like, they're not really, they're a little bit smaller than the standard size of a pillow. You almost have to like bend your pillow a little bit to get it in, which I thought was interesting. I also washed them for the second time this morning and they're not like the best quality. Like you can tell like the way the zipper is done isn't phenomenal. So I don't know how long they're going to last if I'm on I would not recommend purchasing those pillows cases while I do like them and obviously I don't know the effect on my hair or skin or things like that that's more of a long-term benefit of using pillowcases like that I don't think I'd order them from Kitsch I would recommend if you want to get pillowcases like that try them from a different company because a they may not match and B I just didn't think they fit it was just weird how they didn't fit the pillowcases right like pretty sure we all know what a standard pillowcase size is at least in the US so was a little bit surprised that they didn't really fit that great and I don't know I would not recommend next up we got the studs I purposely did not wear a stud in my third ear just so we could try this out so it comes in a really cute kind of mailer bag with studs and all the cute little symbols okay so this is super cute it comes in this like bright pink little plastic pouch that says studs on the back now I think every every purchase you get like some stick-on earrings as well 
um, which is really cute. So that's all inside of here. First up is the actual earring itself. And there's a bunch of other stuff that we'll look at here in a second, but let's get this little stud out of the packaging. I actually really like this little pouch. That's very, very cute. I also realized after filming the first clip that studs actually has locations where you can go get pierced. So when it was showing the pricing on the website and stuff like that, it, um, you can actually go to like a studs location and like they will pierce those different piercings. I don't think there's any of them near me though. So that is what the dagger stud looks like. It's really hard to get it to focus on something so small, but it is very, very cute. I like it a lot. There's a lot of actual detail going on in it that you might not be able to pick up on. Um, let me see if I can get it to like actually focus on it. I'm having a hard time getting it to focus on the dagger, but it does have this striped effect on the top of the dagger and there's actual really cute design. So let's get this in my third hole. All right, so that is what the dagger looks like. Now, part of why I got it is because you can kind of like flip it up and have it kind of go up your ear. You could have it come down and come off. You can do a lot of different things with these longer studs. You can have it have different effects on the way you have your earscape, that's not a word. Um, but I really, really like that. You could obviously wear it on its own. I probably will wear it like flipped up like that a lot, but I may flip it down depending on what earrings I'm wearing. You can put it in your second hole. I only have, like I said, the three piercings on this ear. Really, really like the stud a lot. They have some really cute jewelry, and so honestly, I might even go order from them again. So some of the other things you got, you get like this S, like shiny, what is this, bejeweled S that you can stick on things, it's a little sticker. Then you got some more stickers. So one that says studs, it says pierce me, a little holographic sticker, a little flower. Ooh, a holographic butterfly. My sister will love that one. And then there's a whole set of stick on earrings. Now this, <laughs> I feel like elementary school with this, like this, these are big stick on earrings. I don't, <laughs> They should have made these smaller. I feel like these are too big. These are kind of like childish in my opinion. I don't know if I like the stick on earrings, but I do like the sentiment um, of all of the little things inside. And then it shows some different ways that you can wear some of the jewelry um, that they sell. So I, so the dagger I am super happy with. I think it's really, really cute. Is $26 kind of expensive for one stud? Yes, it is. But I feel like it's really, really nice and is something that I will definitely be using. All right, so next up I have the Easy Plant um, Niantha Bella Palm. Now this was the one that was a little bit interesting. So I waited like a week, nothing shipped. And then I got an email from them saying that the color pot that I chose, which I believe was like the rose one, was out of stock. So they basically refunded me the entire order and gave me a credit for a free small plant. So I basically ordered the exact same thing, but in the light pink pot and basically got it for free because they gift, they refunded me and they gifted me the plant. So I thought the customer service was great. I was kind of in the dark for a while on this one, but to be honest, I love it. Now for the plant, I received this a few days ago. So I already have unboxed it because I obviously, since it's a plant and it's a living thing, I needed to keep it alive. So it comes in a box like this. Now I've obviously opened it, so this looks a little bit weird. And I'll be honest, the box was pretty smushed when I got it. But you basically peel off the sides and pull the top part out. I'll insert some pictures of what it looks like once you do that. It's basically the plant and the pot are encapsulated in this the bottom cardboard. You then basically open that box up. Your pot is sitting on foam and the pot has is wrapped in plastic. And then there is some wet tissue on the top to help keep the plant wet. And then you kind of pull it out and you pull off all of the paper on top. And then there is a water reservoir that you fill up. So this is what it looks like. I love it. Such a pretty color pot. If I had known that the other one wasn't gonna ship in time, then I would have just, you know, whatever. But hey, I got it for free. So right here, and I'm gonna try not to tip too much, there is a little opening that you pull out and there is a water reservoir there. And I don't wanna, there's a lot of water inside, but there's just like, it's this size. And you fill this up and you fill it once a month. And that's that. That is the easiness of this plant. Now, if y'all know, I have lots of plants around my apartment. I'm not like a green thumb in that I do kill plants sometimes. I, I do a mix of real and fake plants around my apartment just so that I always have some greenery. But if this is as easy as it says it is and it actually lasts and doesn't go brown, then this may be a good solution and I might be ordering more plants from them. Um, I mean, 30, it was ended up being like $37 um, it does, it did have free shipping. Um, so it's not like cheap 
for a plant. Like you could go get the plant in a pot and make it super cheap. However, if this lasts for a very long time in the easy plant method that they use, then I feel like this could be worth it, particularly if you're somebody who is very low maintenance and doesn't want to be watering your plants every week or whatever the frequency is for your plants. I typically water my plants about once a week if they need it. Um, and this one is just once a month. So I absolutely adore this and cannot wait to um, look at it. I don't know what do you do with the plant, you look at it, but it's very, very pretty. I don't have any other plants like that. And so very happy with the result. Good customer service, even though I had to wait a little bit. All right, next up we have the Homesick Candle. All right, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. It's like all wrapped very, very nicely. All right, so it comes packed in a box. It was not the easiest thing to get out of that cardboard thing. Um, so this is the Vermont candle. So it says vibrant foliage covers the rolling hills of the Green Mountain State. Scents of cinnamon and apple pie blend with decadent maple syrup. Um, so the top notes again were the apple peel, maple, eucalyptus, mid notes of cinnamon, baked pie crust, and clove, and the base notes of vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. Um, so it says this, or where the heart is, and it says Vermont. Ooh, and then this is the candle there. I love the candle itself. So this is natural soy wax blend and it's hand poured in the USA. This smells so good. This smells like fall sexy subtle. Y'all know if you watch my channel that I am really great at describing scents and taking those really complex notes and making them three simple words. Fall sexy subtle. That's exactly what that smells like. I like this a lot. I was expecting it to be like pow and your face fall, but it doesn't read that way, which is good because obviously this is intended for year round, you know, for whenever. I mean, I've got my little new stud, I've got my plant, I've got my candle. I mean, honestly, for the most, I feel like Instagram did recommend me a lot of things that I would like because you know, I love candles, plants, earrings. So yay. I don't know how much I'll burn this. I like the way it looks. I like the aesthetic. So it's like one of those candles where I probably will burn it, but like I almost don't want to, you know what I mean? Because I like the aesthetic, though I'm sure you could definitely reuse this jar or glass after you're done with it. Oh, it smells really, really, really good. Now, does it smell like Vermont? Um, I don't know. That's not necessarily the smell I associate with Vermont. Like, I feel like when you go to like the Dakin Farm stores, if you've ever been to Vermont, oh, the Dakin Farm stores. Um, I'm and like, I don't know, like Champlain chocolates, the smell of chocolate. And then like when you get to their visitor center, they usually have the Green Mountain coffee. So it smells like coffee. Like those are the scents that I associate with Vermont. This still smells incredible. Obviously the, there's maple and everything, but this, this is still a very, very nice candle. All right, ink box time. It comes in a little envelope like so. Okay, and there is three different envelopes inside. I'm guessing one for each of the different tattoos because I got three different ones. Um, so we'll open the smallest one first. Okay, so this is the butterfly tattoo. Um, there's a follow along video and it gives you all the information on uh, some of the tattoo instructions on how to apply it. It also tells you the longevity of the tattoo as well, which is really great. Um, after care, the before care, <laughs> sweating will make your tattoo blurry. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this in the summer. Apply in a comfortable setting with a room temperature between 60 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. If it has dense hair, you want to shave before. Yeah, you can only use this once. All right, then the next one that I got is the hair meat one. I was thinking I was going to put this on my arm. But is my arm too small for this? Wait. <laughs> oh my god, is my arm gonna be too small? No. I can make I can make that work. We're gonna make it work. I could do it on my leg too. But I was wanting to do it on my arm, so we'll do that that one. And it also they all do they come with a primer wipe as well. And then last but not least, I got the flame one. I think I'm gonna put this around my ankle. I could put it around my arm too, but I think the ankle is gonna be more fun. Alright, it has been like two weeks since I filmed that last clip, but I have applied the tattoos and I just applied them this morning. I was watching the race and Daniel Ricardo won. So very, 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 very happy with that. Good day to be a papaya fan with a McLaren one too. By the time I'm posting this, this, that'll be old news. But I did go ahead and put them on. So I ended up putting the flame one around my wrist. It did not fit all the way around my ankle. So did my wrist and I have tiny wrists. So just keep that in mind if you wanna get the flame one. And then I put this one on my arm. My sister will do hers another time. But I, you basically stick the thing on then you take the border off and you leave it on for an hour and then you peel it off. Um, it doesn't feel great pulling it off, I'm not gonna lie, because it really, really does stick to you. And obviously right now it's pretty light, um, but it's supposed to get darker with time. You're not supposed to shower for eight hours afterwards um, or anything like that. So 
that's what it's looking like. I will give you an update once it's like a little bit darker just so you can see the results. But honestly, I think it is so much fun. So far, I really, really like this. It's kind of a fun way to do something a little bit different. I don't think I placed this like totally right on my arm, but it's only there for a couple weeks. It doesn't matter. It's not permanent. Um, and loving the one on my wrist. I'm like, now I'm like, do I, should I get that tattooed or something like that tattooed on my wrist? Because honestly, it looks really, really awesome. All right, it has been like two days since the last clip and the tattoos have darkened. Um, so we'll start with the one on my wrist. Now I have like hairy wrists, but I have blonde hair and I probably should have shaved. You're supposed to shave 24 hours prior if you have hair. And so like on the front, I feel like there's like some gaps in where the ink applied to my hand because of that on the back where I don't have as much um, hair, but it is a little bit lighter on the back because this is like where I tend to have more friction and I do, I, you know, obviously do stuff, you know what I mean? Work and cleaning and dishes and things like that. Um, but really, really like the way that one turned out. For this one, I think I messed up the application a bit. First of all, I put it on a little bit crooked, so like when I stand, it's kind of on a slant, so that's my bad. Um, I recommend if you're doing one of the bigger ones that you have somebody with you <laughs> to make sure that you put it on straight. Um, but I don't think the sticker like applied really well to like this region and there's some areas that are darker and lighter than others and I don't know if that's on purpose but I do think that down here it didn't apply as well. So I don't know if I just didn't put the thing on tight enough or if I was moving around too much. It said not to move around too much. Maybe I was moving around too much when I applied it but it looks pretty cool. I like the, the look of these. I've decided I don't think I want a tattoo on my arm. I'll do a leg sleeve. Um, I kind of do like the one on my wrist though. Um, overall I thought that this is really, really fun. I like the idea of these like temporary tattoos or and it's a way to see like, if you are thinking about a tattoo, like would you like something in that region? I think that's a great, great way to test it out. So all in all, I really enjoyed the inkbox experience. All right, next we have the upright device, which just came in a mailer bag. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is the most expensive thing that I got. To be honest, like Instagram knows me a little bit too well based on what they recommended to me. Oh my gosh, there's an app that I have to set up with. Okay, y'all, this is, it even has the little peely thing. The little satisfying, like almost like I bought an Apple device type of situation. Okay, it has a sleeve and then this is the Upright Go S. Okay, so there's like a booklet maybe inside of here. It looks like a deck of cards. And then you have the Upright Go device in a little thing as well as a charging cable. Okay, there's alcohol prep pads. There are the little stickies to put it on your back. There is a adhesive removal pick, which looks like a guitar pick. So this is kind of intense, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so you start by downloading the app. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on my phone now. All right, so the app has you create an account, then asks you what your main reason for straightening your posture is. I said to look better. Uh, it only lets you pick one. Um, so now it says grab your go. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It's little itty bitty, tiny little thing here. I guess I'll unwrap it. This is like peel porn, honestly, because it's like, you just like, ugh. Unwrap it. It's very sticky with the sticky, it has like the sticky stuff on the back already. It says it has advanced sensors that measure your posture more than 60 times a second. So you press the power button and wait for a blinking blue light. Bluetooth is happening right now, apparently, between the device and my app, so technology. All right, now it is connected and it is updating the Upright Go device. Okay, the update took like not that many seconds, so that's awesome. Now we're learning how to place this on my back. So the, this is a reusable adhesive and it should last between three to 10 uses depending on the skin types. You wanna make sure your back is clean and dry. If not, they have alcohol prep pads that you can use. I'm not dealing with that right now, that's too much work. Your go can face up or down as long as it's vertical, so you can do it either way as long as it's straightforward. All right, so now I'm peeling off the green on the back. Oh, that looks very sticky. And place the go on your upper back anywhere that's easy to reach. All right, here we go. We're putting this on my back, y'all. Can't come back from there. All right, it is like, it's there. Can you see it? Cause I can't, so there it is. This is gonna be so annoying. I'm gonna hate every second of this. Oh, this video shows you how to find your target upright posture. Oh my God. Form a 90 degree angle with your knees. I'm learning so much right now, guys, about my posture. Imagine a string pulling you up. I feel like I'm sitting pretty straight right now. Pull your shoulders back slightly. Try not to overextend. I don't know what that means. Don't forget to relax and breathe. It's hard to relax and breathe when you're sitting up straight, if I'm honest. Okay, now what? 
Oh, we're calibrating. I'm all set. You can recalibrate, I guess, at any time, and it's important to have your calibration be right. And now we can enable, I'm gonna enable notifications. I don't know what that's gonna do. And now we go home. Uh, so when you're sitting, if you're not sitting up straight, it gives you 15 seconds before it beeps at you. All right, I wanna sit bad on purpose and give it the 14 seconds to yell at me. I wanna know what that feels like because I just feel like it's gonna be so annoying. Yeah, that feels like a phone ringing. This is gonna annoy the crap out of me, but we're gonna go with it. Um, it's on my back now, so I guess we're leaving this on for today. It's 40% charged though, so I probably do need to charge it. <laughs> I don't know, do they have like, what do you, do you, I guess you just stick it on the back of this when you're not using it to not waste the stickies? I don't really know. Um, but we're just gonna deal with that for a day and I will tell you, I will tell you how my day goes. I don't think I'm gonna enjoy this very much if I'm honest. Like what do you do if you're bending over? Like and you need to be bending over. I guess the app doesn't care about that. Though I suppose you're supposed to use this more like if you're sitting for long periods. I don't know what this is intended for. I'm just going with it. We're just going with it, y'all. All right, so the upright. I have been, I wore, I've worn it a few days now. Um, and I actually, I don't hate it. It doesn't beep as much as I thought it was going to beep, if I'm honest. I really think I'll only wear this when I am working at my desk while I'm working because um, I like to slouch sometimes and I think that's okay, but when I'm working I think that's a good time for me to sit up now I will say like I charged it fully and then a few days later I went to go use this and it was at 50% battery and I was like that kind of sucks So I don't know how the battery is I know if you buy the like necklace I'm guessing it charges longer But like I was not gonna spend an extra $20 when this little thing is already pretty expensive um, I will say that I used it the first time I used it for like a half a day and stopped because it was only at 50% battery so I didn't want it to run out and I did have back pains that evening probably because my back is just not used to being straight so it's probably like a good thing but I will just say if you're somebody who's like starting to use this you may not want to do it for a full day you may just want to like start using it for a few hours and like work your back up to it because I feel like if you were to use this 24 7 at the start you might throw your back out or hurt your back just because you need to work the muscles back up again so I actually do think this will probably be good for my posture and for my health but baby steps um, as far as getting started with it, that would be my advice at least. But if you've used this, let me know what you think down in the comments below. All right, and then last but not least, we have the dress from Cider. So let's get this out. Oh, cute. It comes with two sets of stickers with the order. Those are very, very cute. And then the dress itself. So this is what the dress looks like. I'm definitely gonna have to retie that, that, um, this string. Now, the only thing is you definitely want to make sure it's tied because it's part of the sleeves and then it comes down and has that. Oh my gosh, this is giving me like, oh my gosh, I like this a lot. I'm curious to see what it looks like on. I feel like it's going to look like a nightgown like a gothy kind of nightgown, but I'm kind of here for that. The material inside, it feels very nice. It's very like thin, but it feels nice. And there is a zipper that goes part of the way down the back of the dress, probably like from here to here. This is where it goes down to. So really, really cute. Let's see what this looks like on with my upright stuck on my back. That will be very cute. All right, so here is the dress on. Now I know you can't see the full length, so I'm gonna insert a picture as well, just because I have laundry and that's normally where I film my full body shots and I can't. Um, it is really, really comfortable and pretty. It fits me very well, but it doesn't feel tight even though it looks tight. Like the material is very stretchy. Um, I did have to re-tie the front of it. I'm obviously not gonna, I'm not wearing a bra with it. I don't I feel like you can't get away with a bra. Let me just trip over all of the cords, but I am loving it. Let me like sit up here so maybe you can see the bottom edge of it. So this is kind of the length that it comes to. The lace does come over a little bit there, but I think that this is very cute. Wow, am I the first person to ever film a try-on full body shot just sitting on a... I don't know, a chest of drawers? I don't know, apparently so. But it fits me really well, it looks really cute. It does not look as like nightgowny as I was afraid of. I don't know if I love this coming down the front. Now what you could do is just tuck it in like that. 
if you don't like the way that looks, but then I feel like you do need something. Um, it is pretty long, so you probably could cut it a little bit shorter if you wanted to, um, but again, it is connected to the sleeves as well. You could probably take the whole thing out if you really hated it that much, but I kind of like the detailing, so super duper cute. Well, this was a really fun experiment. It was super fun seeing what Instagram would recommend to me, and pretty much everything they recommended is stuff that I would want, so I feel like it was a good thing. I don't know if it's a good thing that they know me that well, if I'm honest, but definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of all of the things that Instagram recommended to me? Do you guys like to buy what Instagram recommends? Before this video, I'd never, ever, ever bought anything that Instagram had ever recommended to me. Um, like I said, I feel like when you bought like jewelry, then all the ads that were like sent to you were jewelry. When I started to purchase more things, I feel like then it started to kind of get mixed up again. But when it saw that I had bought something because I never had, I feel like it just got excited and was like, give her everything jewelry because she likes jewelry. Um, so I don't know, have any of you guys purchased from Instagram? Do you like what they recommend to you? Definitely let me know your thoughts down below. I'll leave everything linked down below in case you wanted to purchase anything. Um, and I'll see you in my next video.